Today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the Reveltech Danboard Renewal Package Box. This is the Chiro version of Danboard, and uh, I guess features Chiro on the display stand, Chiro also on the front box, or front chest area of the box there as well. Um, you may or may not know this, but Spot obviously is a big fan of robots, and I've also really been a big fan of uh, Danboard. I don't really collect a lot of Danboard stuff, but I've always really liked the design of a robot comprised of cardboard boxes. I think that's <laughs> that's just such a fun idea. Uh, this comes with also from the folks over at Revel Tech, and it comes with it looks like he comes with again a display stand, an alternate head, probably some other goodies in there as well. On the side of the package, showing you how the Revel Tech uh, joints work, which again a, a really revolutionary way to have a articulated figure. Now, the, keep it in mind, like Revel Tech was around a lot before we saw super articulated figures, like they were kind of the forefront for what we would see nowadays. On the back of the package, Reveltech Danboard Renewal Package Box. This, I guess, would be the regular version of Danboard, so you'll see that it doesn't have the Chiro logo on the front or on the display stand. This is just the regular uh, Danboard. Sculpted by Enoki Tomohide, produced and manufactured by Kyoto, and based on comic Yetsuba, and exclamation mark, I guess. And again, once again, showing you the uh, the way that the articulation works on Rebel Tech joints. And for good measure, there's just a just a nice image on the side there of Dan Board. Spot's gonna take a break, get this opened up, and when we come back, we're gonna get a better look at the Rebel Tech Dan Board Renewal Package Box. There's more hanging away, guys. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Okay, so for your list of contents, you get yourself a display stand, which I'm assuming probably would have also come with the standard version of Danboard as well. Uh, this version, though, does feature Chiro down below there. You also get yourself an alternate head, and I'll show you I'll show you guys that a little more in depth later. Head sculpt. And for also good measure, you get yourself uh, one of the Revel Tech joints. And uh, the one thing that, again, set the bar for Revel Tech were these ratcheted joints. And I, I'm assuming that this is solely for the changing out of the head. We'll look at that, though, in a second. Just put that to the side. The head wants to roll around on, on me here. All right, so let's have a look at uh, Dan Board here. Now, the interesting thing about Dan Board as well, um, and you see the Chiro logo on the front and on the back here, uh, you'll also see too there is a switch on the side it says off there's an on option and uh, to operate that and I didn't actually realize this right away until I actually got out of the packaging but uh, take the head because you're going to want to change the head out anyways when you're looking to switch it to the uh, the unmasked head but you're just going to take the head and pop it off and uh, there's one of the Revel Tech joints right there just going to put the body there for a second if you flip it upside down, there is a battery compartment, complete with a little pull tab. The pull tab blocks the power of the battery to the device or you know, whatever the battery is uh, plugging into. And uh, with that taken off, it uh, it doesn't actually light up. No, let's let's see. Let's have a look here. The batteries are in there. Oh, there we go. Upon further inspection, there's there are the lights right there on Dan board. So I like that. I really like the fact that just above and beyond it being a, a neat piece, it uh, it does also have light up eyes, and you can have Dan board just kind of standing there with his eyes all light up. A nice touch. I really like that. Uh, before again, we look at the human unmasked head. Again, let's just look at some of those details on Dan board here. Now, Dan Board, if you are new, I th think Dan Board's been around since probably like 2006, 2007. 
He's been around for, I mean, really, when you think about it, 2006, that's almost 10 years ago, uh, Dan Board's been around. And I've always really thought that he had, was a neat-looking character, just a cardboard box robot. Uh, but, I mean, he lives up to it. I mean, like, the piece itself is beautiful. It, it has the flaps at the top as if it looked like the top of an actual box. Same thing can also be said for the arms. The arms are uh, flapped, so you can see where, like, this would have been a tubular box taped off on the ends there. And he's also got the flapped boxes for his feet. And as a neat, fun touch, uh, he's also got the flaps open where his torso, you can see where if somebody had been putting a box on as an outfit, the flaps on the bottom of the boxes are open so that he could have his legs on the underside. So again, a really nice touch. There is a singular peg point, so you can take that and peg it into his display stand. And there you have Tiro. I, you know what? I, I like the fact that Dan Board has the display stand because it, it, it makes him stand a lot easier, especially when you start moving like his head or even for that matter, when you start moving his arms. It could make him a little more top heavy. The display stand certainly prevents him from toppling over. Speaking of which, though, for your articulation, I'll just put the display stand to the side here. Display uh, for articulation, I should say, the head does rotate, uh, I guess, technically all the way around. You don't have to worry about the electronics because the electronics are technically up in the noodle area and not in the body or in the neck. But the head does rotate. Uh, it does ratchet up and down. Uh, not really to the side, but yeah, a nice ratcheted joint up and down. And uh, you can kind of turn it to the side too as well. Uh, also, Revel Tech joints are featured in the arms, so they rotate out. And you can see where those socketed joints are sitting inside inside these the shoulder areas here. Uh, concealing them nicely too, so that you know from a distance it doesn't look, you don't see the joints on Dan board. It's it's all nicely concealed. But the arms do move forward and back out. They rotate all the way around as well. Uh, I guess the only thing, just be careful. Yeah, you want to make sure that the joint is lined up. At least the shoulder areas there are like loose, free-floating pieces. So they, they move along with the joint instead of being a hindrance to the joint. And then as for the legs, the legs, a little more limited because, well, he's got box legs and he's sitting inside a box torso. Uh, but, I mean, I guess they would slightly move, but not really all that much, though. So there is Dan Board in full, his full outfit. So what you can do is take the head off here. And actually that worked out well because I was going to say I'm going to have to take the socket out there as well. I'm going to put the body right there. The head, we'll just put that to the side. And then we have the unmasked version as well. And just take the next socket, plug that into place, plug it in. There we go. And then take that and plug that into the uh, the base. It's the downside though with the human face, the un, you know, the unmasked face is despite the fact even though the Revel Tech joint is flesh colored as well, it kind of gives him a like a little ball neck, which is it's livable. I mean, it's it doesn't bother me as much, but it looks it's a little more noticeable than uh, you know, than than what you would see. Obviously the box head would cover that joint anyways, but you know, the, the face is is really nice and I I love anime. I don't watch anime as much as I used to. I really want to get back into watching more anime stuff, but uh, it's got a really phenomenal looking paint. Uh, like the classic things that you would come to expect with manga and anime, the, the reflection in the eye, uh, you know, a really nice expression on his face. Kind of a little confused. He's a little, little bit confused. Uh, nice hair as well. Not a lot of paint in the in the flesh color. It's kind of one singular paint, but it, it's a really nice piece. Um, given the choice, though, between the two, yeah, I'm definitely going to want to go more so with Dan Board's box head versus the unmasked head. Uh, again, it's it's a fun piece. It doesn't have a lot of accessories. Not ones, like with other Revel Tech pieces, you kind of get a whole bunch of different accessories, but really, what would you also get with 
when it comes to a cardboard box robot. Uh, he does everything he needs to do, and I like the fact that he does light up. That's a nice touch as well. Today's collectible spot, we were having a look at something a little bit different. We were having a look at the Revel Tech Danboard uh, figure. A really a beautiful looking piece. Uh, this is also the Chiro version, so we will have Chiro featured on the front and also down on the, uh, the display base as well. Uh, if you get a chance, I definitely would say uh, head over also to Chiro, and they're producing a bunch of... Uh, of different items. We've already had a look at the Dan Board mini uh, ex uh, battery, which was also a really cool piece as well. So I'm going to provide all that link down below. But uh, a really fun piece. I mean, I always, always loved robots. I love Dan Board. So I mean, this is going to be a great display piece to have on my on my uh, wall here on my shelf. Uh, today we are having a look again. Dan Board version, Chiro version. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more collectible spots in your way. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.